Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and watching the video today. I'm Steve. And I'm Gary. And uh, today we want to talk to you about a cool feature that's built into Windows it's called the Event Viewer. Um, we got a question from a reader that asked if there was a way to find out if someone had been using their computer when they weren't around. They got the feeling that somebody was trying to mess with their computer or using their computer without, without permission. And so we, we came up with an answer and it's a way to use an, a, an, something that's built into your computer called the Event Viewer to really see when the last time the computer is used, or actually anything really that, that the computer does. Right, now normally the event viewer is more of a diagnostic tool for a tech person to go in and maybe diagnose a problem, maybe having something odd happening with the computer, and it gives you a lot of technical specifications and information about what actually is happening, and it logs every little, every little detail, every time like the system time changes, or um, you know maybe a program changes or does something, all that stuff is actually logged inside of Windows, and you can view those with this event viewer. But the trick here is that if Windows runs, there's a whole bunch of different events that have to happen in order for Windows to run and everything gets logged. So if you were gone over the weekend and you were saying, geez, was someone using my computer on Saturday? You can just look and see what the log entries were for that. And if there are entries, then you know that someone was using the computer. It doesn't even matter what those entries are, just the fact that they're there indicates that someone was indeed on your computer. So let's take a look at the computer and uh, I'll show you how this all works. Okay, the first step is to launch the Event Viewer. If you're using Vista or Windows 7, you're going to go to the search box and uh, for Windows XP, just go to the run box. What you're going to type in here is eventvwr.msc and then just hit enter. And in a second or two here, your Event Viewer will uh, materialize on your desktop. It takes it a second. There it goes. And this is the Windows 7 version, so we're going to go ahead and uh, look under Windows Logs. And I'm just going to look under System, because I'm interested if the system was running. And I'm going to see all the events here that have happened that have been logged here. And uh, let's take a look here once it propagates the list. There it goes. And you can see there is all sorts of events logged here. We're shooting this video on 11.9 and you can see all the different events just from starting up this computer on 11.9 that we have here. There's a ton of stuff. And uh, I'm going to scroll down here just to show you what happens. See all this stuff on 11.9. So if I was wondering if this computer was running on 11.9 then I could go in here and see that it was. And I'm going to go scroll down here so just bear with me. I want to show you what it looks like when nothing has happened. And we're getting there I promise. As you can see, there's a lot of events. There's 11.8 that the computer was run yesterday. I can see that. I wasn't here, so someone was back here using the computer. And again, just scrolling through. Now here is 11.5. Now I can see that there's a gap between 11.5 and 11.8. So this tells me that no one used the computer on the 6th or the 7th. It was just used on the 5th, and then it was used again on the 8th. Now that was over a weekend, so if I would have seen something on 11.6, I would have known, hey, someone was in here on Saturday using this computer and maybe they weren't supposed to be doing that. So, uh, but that's the trick, that's all there really is to it. So if you're curious if someone's been using your computer, that's how you find it out. So there you go, that's how to use the Event Viewer to find out if someone's been using your computer. Now, uh, like we said before, the Event Viewer is also great for many other things. It's The main reason it's there is to trouble, try to troubleshoot problems with the computer. You may have noticed that through that video when Steve was scrolling through things, some of the events show up there as errors. Um, if you have a problem with your computer or you're having an error, you can look in the event viewer and find where it, where it lists the errors and find technical details on what they mean. If you, uh, if you want to go further with that, you can try to figure it out yourself by looking online or forward it to a tech support person that may know more about what the error says. Well, that's about it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something there. Um, make sure that if you're not on our Computer Tips newsletter, you run over to the site, sign up right now. It's free, and uh, you'll get these videos when they're first published right there in the newsletter. You can watch them and never miss a video. Um, make sure you check out our Facebook page, too. We're over 5,000 strong now, so we're pretty excited about that. Make sure you get over there and uh, add your name to the list. And thanks for watching.